Triac demonstrations using a commercial light dimmer, like this one. It has a triac, a potentiometer turned by the knob, two capacitors, an inductor. This one also uses a diac. There are four demonstrations. Here they are. Common to all demonstrations is a 120 volts AC source, a triac, a diac, a potentiometer, 120 volt, 40 watt light bulb, a capacitor. This RC circuit charges each half cycle to create a trigger pulse. This capacitor is present in these circuits. This choke conductor is present in these circuits. In the first demonstration, this capacitor is absent. This inductor is bypassed. Signal A is the load voltage. Signal B is the source voltage. Signal B is the source voltage. Notice 120 volts RMS. Signal A is the load voltage as a function of potentiometer resistance. That RC circuit affects the trigger pulse. Notice the load voltage RMS. Notice the minimum turn on voltage, but stays on to almost zero. In the second demonstration, this capacitor is present, but the inductor is still bypassed. There's not much difference between this one and the previous one. In the third demonstration, the capacitor is absent, but now this inductor is present. And there's not much difference between this one and the previous two. In the fourth demonstration, this capacitor is present and this inductor is present, like when it was new. Notice the large spikes at trigger time. See the large voltage spikes? The oscilloscope probe grounds are not present, are not, are not connected. A common ground is shared by the source and the oscilloscope.
The TRIAC is like two SCRs back to back which deliver positive and negative pulses. The inductor and extra capacitor may filter undesirable harmonics to other electrical devices on the same circuit. 